Global supervolcano threat rises as scientists sound the alarm supervolcanoes are in a class of their own. Unlike regular eruptions, they eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. Researchers are hard at work, monitoring every development at the Yellowstone supervolcano. Volcanoes have fascinated humans for thousands of years, with their fiery plumes and rivers of molten rock. But beneath the familiar cone-shaped peaks lies a quieter, more hidden danger, supervolcanoes. These colossal forces don't erupt often, but when they do, the impact can span continents. Studying these sleeping giants offers not only fascinating science, but also a sobering warning for the future of the planet. Supervolcanoes are in a class of their own. Unlike regular eruptions, they eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. That's enough to bury entire cities under layers of ash. And they don't look like the volcanoes you might expect. Instead of a peak, volcanoes often form as large calderas, large, sunken areas that form when a magma chamber empties and collapses. This volcanic eruption tops the Volcano Black Index, which is labeled a VEI-8. That's the highest possible score. By comparison, the famous eruption that buried Pompeii was a VEI-5, much weaker. A VEI-8 event would do more than just destroy the surrounding area. It could change weather patterns, block out sunlight, and disrupt global agriculture. Supervolcanoes are among Earth's most fascinating and dangerous features. While the chances of one supervolcano occurring each year are slim, their consequences demand vigilance, international cooperation, and more research to reduce the risks. Supervolcanoes form over hotspots or in subduction zones, where tectonic plates move together. These areas allow magma to build up deep inside the Earth. Over tens of thousands to millions of years, pressure builds as the magma interacts with the surrounding rock, becoming thicker and richer in gas. David Pyle, a volcanologist at the University of Oxford, explains, it's the combination of the magma's high viscosity and its gas content that makes supervolcanoes so explosive. When they erupt, they're like opening a bottle of champagne on a planetary scale. Yellowstone is a focal point for supervolcano research. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, run by the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, monitors the area. Researchers use a combination of seismographs, satellite imagery, and GPS sensors to track the ground, which can reveal the movement of magma. In a new study led by Dr. Michael Poland, the scientist in charge of YVO, the researchers analyzed 20 years of data on Yellowstone's surface projections. The results, published in JGR Solid Earth, suggest periodic cycles of inflation and deflation, likely driven by the migration of magma and hydrothermal fluids. Yellowstone is dynamic but it's not currently erupting, Poland says. Our data shows that the magma is being replenished, but at a much slower rate than would be required for an imminent eruption. At Toba, the University of Cambridge team used zircon crystals found at the volcano to study the magma buildup. Clive Oppenheimer, a volcanologist on the team, explains, zircons are like time capsules. They tell us how long the magma has been sitting and evolving before it erupts. At Toba, it took thousands of years, which is consistent with what we see at other supervolcanoes. Supervolcanoes don't erupt very often, but when they do, the results are devastating. An eruption like Yellowstone's last major one, the Lava Creek eruption 640,000 years ago, would have buried the western U.S. in meters of ash, destroyed infrastructure and rendered much of the land uninhabitable.